Hey, welcome to Rose of Forever. I'm Terry, and I'm back with another delicious Daniel Fast recipe. And this Daniel Fast soup is so, so good. And I'm telling you, you're going to love this Daniel Fast soup. Make sure that you add this to your Daniel Fast menu. And if you haven't seen my other Daniel Fast videos, don't worry. I'll make sure to link all of the other recipes I've done in the description box. And I've also made some other delicious Daniel Fast soups, which I'll make sure to link as well so you can check those out. So let me go through and show you what the ingredients are that you'll need for this delicious Daniel Fast Soup. So you're going to need some broccoli florets. So this is about three cups. You could use more or less depending on how big of a portion you're making. So you can always double this recipe if you want it to serve longer throughout the week. I have one cup of celery, which I have washed and chopped up. I have one cup of carrots. I have one onion, which I also washed and chopped up. I have uh, some garlic here. So you're going to need about two to three cloves. It depends on how much you like garlic. So if you don't have garlic cloves that you're going to mince up, you can always use garlic powder instead. I also have here um, almost two cups of coconut milk. I've made other videos where I showed you how to make coconut milk. And so this is not a full two cup, but right now I don't have time to make two cups. So I'm just going to use this little uh, bit that I have. So it's almost two cups, but not quite there. But you can use two cups if you want to make sure it's really nice and creamy. Also, you're going to need either water or, you know, some veggie broth. And in another Daniel Fast video I've done, I've showed you how I made my homemade veggie broth. Um, also, you're going to need, you know, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And so what I'm going to do is show you exactly how I make this delicious soup. Now, you can always swap out the broccoli for cauliflower if you like. If you want a soup that's more thick or a little bit creamier, then you can also add potatoes to this soup as well. And then in terms of seasonings, the only seasonings I'm going to use um, is salt, pepper, and some oregano. I already have the garlic and the onion, so that's going to give it a lot of flavor. So let me show you exactly how I make this delicious Daniel Fast Soup. And if you're excited to try this recipe, hit that thumbs up button so that I know you're enjoying these videos. And if I know that you're enjoying these videos, I'll continue to make more Daniel Fast recipe videos for you. That way it can make your journey through the Daniel Fast so much easier. All right, let's jump to it and check out how to make this delicious Daniel Fast uh, broccoli soup. All right, guys, so to my stainless steel pot, I've added my celery and my carrots with my one tablespoon of olive oil. And I'm just going to let this saute for a bit until the carrots start to get a little bit soft. As you can see, I haven't added the onions yet. I'm going to let this sizzle for a little bit before I add the onions because I don't want the onions to start turning translucent or getting brown too early. So first you're gonna just saute your celery and your carrots until they start to get a little bit soft. Then we'll add our minced garlic and our onion. So now that the carrots and celery have been cooking for five minutes, I'm gonna add my onions. And then I'm going to make sure that my onions cook until they become translucent. So that's when you'll smell that nice sweet flavor coming from your onions. So I'm just gonna mix that in here. And that should take about three to four minutes, guys. So it shouldn't take long at all for this to happen. And you can always chop your veggies smaller. So I'm going to do something um, extremely special that I love to do with my soups at the end. So you'll see why it doesn't matter whether or not they're big or small, but you can always chop them smaller if you would like. So um, let this cook for about three to four minutes. So I have the fire on medium heat. So you can also turn it up on high if you want to try to make it go a little bit faster, but I don't want anything to burn. So I have this on medium heat and I'll let this saute for three to four minutes. All right, guys, so it's been four minutes. I've added my minced garlic and I'm also adding my broccoli right to the pot. All right, so just like this, nice and easy. Then I'm just gonna mix everything together. And then all you're going to do once everything is mixed is then you will add your three cups of water or your veggie broth. I personally like the veggie broth because I feel like it's more flavorful, but use what you have. Um, 
you know, it's still gonna be delicious even if you use the water. So all I'm going to do is add my three cups of veggie broth, then I'm gonna put the pot cover on and I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 to 15 minutes until everything is nice and soft. And I'll show you what I do next. As you can see guys, I have added my broth and I'm just, you know, making sure everything is nice and incorporated. Look at how pretty that broccoli is. And like I said, you could always use cauliflower if you prefer. You could also add your potatoes at this point. If you're gonna add potatoes, if you want a soup that's a bit thicker. So now that everything is incorporated, um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add my seasoning. So that's my salt, my oregano, and a little bit of black pepper. So how much you add is up to you. So, you know, it all depends on your taste preference. You don't have to add the oregano. You don't have to add the salt. You don't have to add the black pepper. It's really up to you. But I'm gonna add those things for extra flavor. And then I'm just gonna put my cover on and let this, like I said, cook on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes until everything is nice and soft. And I'm telling you, your house will smell amazing when all of these flavors are coming together all right guys now that your 15 minutes is up all you're going to do is just add your coconut milk right into your pot and then you're just going to mix that up and let it simmer on low for another three to five minutes and then i will show you what i do next all right guys, now that my coconut milk is incorporated and my soup is finished cooking, all I do is turn off the stove. Now I'm just gonna take my ladle and I'm going to get a big heaping scoop with the juices and the broccoli. And I'm just gonna add that right to my Ninja blender. So if you don't have a Ninja, any blender will work. So just add the amount you would like. You could actually just drink the soup just like this and enjoy it and it's delicious. But you guys know, I like to spice mine up a little bit. So I'm just adding some of this to my Ninja and then I'll show you what I do next. So I have my soup in my blender. All I'm gonna do is just turn the power on and I'm gonna blend this on high until it gets nice and creamy. So here we go. <laughs> So now that I've finished blending my soup, all I'm gonna do is just pour that right in my bowl. And look at that deliciousness, guys. Wow, it's nice and steamy. It smells good, and I'm telling you, this soup right here tastes amazing. Let me know how much you love this soup in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I ask that you give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe for more awesome content just like this. I have tons more Daniel Fast videos to, for you to check out and more recipes coming and an ebook coming. So make sure you're subscribed and share this video with your friends. Before you leave, I want to remind you, you're only one prayer away. Enjoy this delicious Daniel Fast soup recipe.